tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Leah Bowser, Bonnie Gore, Jason Outlaw, music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, from the Juice Standard, Jamie Stevenson. Musical performance by Nico. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who loves the water in Flint, Michigan. Mr. Jason Outlaw! Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. DJ Lenny Alfonso, let's hear it for him, huh? Very, very well done, awesome job. And give it up for yourselves just for being awesome. Woo. I'm noticing the girl to guy ratio in the room tonight is pretty darn good. All right, this is, this is good, way to go guys. That guy's excited, we're excited. Thank Jamie for that, yes, th thank you Jamie wherever Jamie is. Oh, there she is. Aha, I didn't see her. Aha, what's up, Jamie? All right, cool. Well, guys, I'm Jason Outlaw. That's DJ Lenny Alfonso. And this is what's in the news. Uh, Michigan has uh, passed a bill saying that sodomy is a felony. That's right, yes. Yes, it's punishable by 15 years in prison. That's right, that's right. Man, there must be something in the water in Michigan. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I think they did the same thing with oral sex too there. I'm, I'm, yeah, so someone. Yeah, yeah, ugh, communists. <laughs> Definitely un American up there. Um, Bernie Sanders. You guys know Bernie Sanders? Yeah. Yes, of course you do. Bernie Sanders' code name, his Secret Service code name is Intrepid. I guess is in a car that is for everyone, which is different from Donald Trump's code name. That's right, Donald Trump's code name is Smart Car. Smart car, believe it or not, yes. Because some not so smart people think it's a good idea until <laughs> it gets real. <laughs> oh, Donald, yeah, it's, it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump and shit, they go together, don't they? they go, yeah, any Donald Trump fans out there? We, we, yeah, we, all right, we got one somewhere. We had one last week. I, th I think everyone mugged him on the way out. That was a good joke, too. So. Wow. Uh, Titanic 2, there's a Titanic 2, an exact replica of the original ship. That's right, this is the exact replica of the Titanic. It's going to set sail in 2018. That's right. I'm pretty sure we all know how this is gonna end, guys, don't we? <laughs> I mean, let's just hope that this time, Jack gets on the floating door instead of freezing to death. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say about that. As a matter of fact, there have been two sequels made to, to uh, the, the movie Titanic. That's right, and they sunk faster than the ship. <laughs> That's true. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. If you, you look it up, if you look it up, I looked this up the other day. It was pretty, pretty ridiculous. There's one called Jack Returns, and it's like he's frozen in ice, and they bring him, and they, like, it's stupid, whatever. All right, guys, we got a wonderful show for you. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso! downtown, a woman who's been downtown as long as I have. So over three years ago, I remember she was starting an idea for the juice standard, which didn't go away. It evolved, it changed, like every good business should. But it's still around, and it's a pleasure to bring her on to talk about it. Put your hands together for Jamie Stevenson. Come on out. <laughs> Welcome Thank back. you. Thank you. Um, so first off, uh, just tell me your entrepreneurial story. I think you're an inspiration to a lot of people. The hard work you put in day to day has been consistent for the last three years. The ideas changed a lot, but what have you done? Um, well, actually, I started off as a portrait photographer, and um, I decided with um, some help from my mentor that that wasn't the direction I was going to go. So I um, thought about what I was going to do every single day that was going to be fun and meaningful. And That's what your mentor said? Yeah. You know, she All said, right, what, like is it, what is it that you're going to do every day said. that you love? And so uh, I was like, hmm, what is it? 
seriously. So she um, ended up having to have like some crazy stuff. I made juice for her. It was amazing because I lit up like a light bulb. She's like, you need to do this, not take pictures. I came back to Las Vegas and called up my best friend, Marcella, who's out in the audience. Oh, and I was like, hey, that, right? I know. I was like, hey, do you want to open a juice bar? Do you want to open a juice bar with me? And she was like, yeah, yes, that's my girl. And so I was like, amazing synergy, uh, amazing communication, uh, clear vision, and since then, our passion has cultivated a movement here in Las Vegas, and it's just been amazing. So awesome. we've just we make these juices in there. Okay, and really uh, like as far as in like regular person versus alcoholic, where are you on that spectrum? <laughs> Somewhere in the middle, life? right? Okay, yeah, whatever. You know what? Um, hypothetically speaking, we have this one life to live, so live it. But we believe in yeah, consuming. You know, we just life. we just want to consume a lot of <laughs> plants in the meantime. So uh, <laughs> may as well take them yummy, it. make them yummy, and <laughs> that's what we do. Okay, so uh, have you ever seen the game Drinko? Um, <laughs> yes, now I have. Yes. Okay. Oh, now you have. Now, you now, tell this as a, uh, well, you know, as of recently. Yeah, because normally yes. big celebrities play it, but today yes. we're gonna play it. <laughs> okay. So here's how it works. We have. Eight cups, the number comes up, we're gonna pour it in our glass. And what we're doing is when it lands on the cup, you're gonna take it and put it in here. So you picked your four favorite drinks, and I picked my four favorite drinks, and it will be sort of like an R&D department for your next juice. You can, you know, it's not always gonna work, but you're gonna try new things to see if something delicious comes Very from good. it. Very good, yes, you never know. Something might want, right? Fabulous, yes. Cool, all right, so you ready to play? <laughs> yes. Dude. This is called, uh, this is Be Energized. It's beet and carrot based. Okay. It dilates your blood vessels with uh, naturally occurring nitrates. It um, is actually oh, quite lovely. People who hate beets love it, which is awesome. Yeah, it's big. This one is called Be Grateful, and it's um, the gratitude I have for something that tastes so unbelievably sweet and delicious, but it's actually good for me. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's so good. It's pineapple, carrot, apple, lemon, and ginger. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. It's good very stuff. Very grateful for it also. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this one here, the blue color, it's blue, 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 because it's uh, made up with blue-green algae or spirulina, which is a complete protein, and high quality. Called? Spirulina? Oh, that's the protein. It's called Be Excellent. In case you're not catching oh, on. these are just little metaphors. Yes, it's like, all yeah. positive affirmations because, you know, we want right, your to spread the love. You don't even need a mentor anymore. You just look at your juice bottles. Yep, it's got it's a vanilla. <laughs> it's true. I don't. She's a, she's one of my really good friends, and yeah, she's, she's right there. now she just yeah. drinks the juice. It's awesome. Um, okay, so then this one here is called Be Resilient. That's there's no food coloring. That's just all greens right there. This is all greens, no sweets, pure, beautiful, mm, yummy, yummy. Lots of chlorophyll, oxygenates the blood, acts like hemoglobin. Makes you have more energy. Yeah, Boosts your immune system. <laughs> increases <laughs> mental cognition. Yes, it's good stuff. All right. Well, those are decent choices. But I also <laughs> like drinks. Okay. <laughs> and I even brought in one of my best friends from college, who I did a lot of drinking with. And he's bringing me some of our favorite drinks that we bring. So, Robin, okay. do you want to come on out here? <laughs> sit around and drink extra chunky coconut juice. Extra? Yeah. <laughs> extra chunky. Extra chunky, yeah. It just gives you that hearty <laughs> flavor, you it's know? It's healthy, too. Right, and it was good for the, the recovery from the drinking. So. Actually, it's got a lot of electrolytes in it, so it is kind of good for you. <laughs> okay, but you remember, remember back in the day, like, we'd go, here, oh, you can listen to it. Have a seat here. Remember back in the day, I would go out, try to meet some girls, and we would always bring them some, you know, we'd always bring them some boiling hot white wine, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we should bring a show of that. A lot of people don't know how good hot wine is. They, yeah. say, they say red wine, but it's... Yeah, you, mi you microwave it for a good 45 seconds. It really brings the flavor out. You ever had hot wine? You ever microwaved it? No. Okay, and then of course we would always drink the apple cinnamon vinegar. Remember? Apple cider vinegar. Oh, the apple cider vinegar, yeah. There was too much it's been on. cider in there. It's, it's, it's also very healthy. I mean, that's the theme, right? Right. Yeah. Mm, I love that stuff. We serve that stuff at our juice bar. Oh, good. So we're, apple cider we're vinegar. A great mix. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robbie. Let's go ahead. I'll take my drink. Mm -mm. <laughs> ah! It didn't happen at all during rehearsal. <laughs> Four. Okay, we got the. What is this one, Robbie? Oh that's the apple cider. Oh, the apple cider. Apple cider <laughs> all right, 
that's my first catch. Oh, oh, this is I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. <laughs> hey, you got the chunky piece. This, this one, this one's yours, yeah. Oh, same one. <laughs> we shouldn't have to drink the same one. <laughs> oh, yeah, put it over this side. <laughs> Thank you, yes, please. Oh, oh eight. Oh, coconut, coconut water. water. Yeah, mm. Yum. Yeah. With my... <laughs> oh, it is chunky, for real. <laughs> it wasn't until it was backlit that I saw it. OK, good luck. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I think that was one. Oh, one of the good ones, yeah. Which game was It was one of this? mine. Or, yes. What is this? Oh, you remind me again. This is Be it. Resilient. OK. Kale, <laughs> parsley. Can you fill this up again? I can, I can hang with this. I can hang with this. OK, so have kale. You ever, have you ever checked a beer? Like parsley. One? Yeah. You ever shotgun a beer? Oh, don't be, yeah. No? <laughs> Never. See how slow she responded? Romaine, yeah, so celery. Cucumber, parsley, kale, microgreens, locally harvested, by the way. All right, give me my, what are we gonna, what are we gonna top this guy off with? All right, here we go. Bigger than Drinko, drinko. So we're getting smaller glasses. It'll be right up to the rim. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> Seven. Oh, that's one of yours, Oh, the right? red one, yeah. Oh, the beet. Beet, carrot, cucumber. <laughs> we should've got the liquor in one, okay. Lemon. <laughs> so this is gonna be Jamie's <clears throat> final drink. I want number five. Five. Number three, number five. Two, number three. Five. Number two, number two. Five. <laughs> number two. <laughs> number four. Oh, more of that. More of that vinegar. It's because I'm so sweet that I need all this vinegar. Yeah, all right. I think everybody who's done this before knows our song. Do we have to drink the whole thing? Yeah, but why are we doing it? Okay, so. Song. A toast to those we, we love the most in a place see. where we belong. Cheers! I'm a beast. Oh. oh, that might make me throw up. That was much different than I thought. Uh, I mean, we can edit that out. Nothing. Give it up for Jamie Stevenson. Good job. It's, all, it's R and D, man. It's not an easy job. People don't know how much work you put into this stuff. I, put, I think we're gonna pass on this one, but I'm, I feel healthier. <laughs> so, um, what, if you had to name this drink. I call mine the rat. Be harsh on the third date, you know? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Standard? <laughs> Your Tinder date? Mm. Juicestandard.com, right? Juicestandard.com. Yes, Juicestandard, the Juice Standard on Instagram, Juice, the Juice Standard on Facebook, Juicestandard.com. And we also have a blog where we just like to talk to you and tell you all rad things. It's the humblebee.com. Okay, give it up to Jamie Stevens. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate it. Was awesome. That was a rough game. <laughs> You did it good. You're a champion. Thank you. Give it up for <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure, so. Thank you. Oh. Wash that down with some whiskey, huh? Yeah, vodka, <laughs> in my case. know that there are small film segments on the internet that actually aren't pornos? <laughs> Some of you didn't know that, but there are. And our next guest is the director and producer of one of the fastest growing YouTube channels out there. Please welcome Tim H. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Come on, sit down. <laughs> Have a seat. Yeah. Welcome, Tim. Hi. What Thanks for do? having me. Yeah. What are you doing in Las Vegas? You have an accent. Uh, I do. Yes. Uh, so I'm in Las Vegas because I was invited to the Adobe Creative Jam. Right. Which um, was right before the podcast tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, I was here speaking about sort of, you know, making things online and kind of like my journey and um, creating stuff on the internet and how I think it's an interesting sort of 
avenue for filmmakers nowadays. So. Right, and do you do directing, acting, and producing of all your own films? Yes, and currently you can probably still throw editing in there as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's funny, like YouTubers definitely sort of grow up being sort of completely self-made in that you have to like learn how to expose a shot, you know, film yourself, perform it, you know, direct it. Uh, but then as time went on and my projects started getting more ambitious, I started like bringing on co-writers or for instance, occasionally I'd have a co-director for instance because I started becoming nervous about if I was in it. I wanted to have someone overseeing my performance. Okay, right. Um, but so, yeah, the more ambitious stuff gets, the more expansive your career How long gets, have you basically. been doing this? Um, yeah, I started out pretty much when YouTube was first a thing, so that's like 2006 or like, you know. Okay, um, yeah. So you were a pioneer in the short um, films so for YouTube, I would say, <laughs> well, right? Well, it's, the way I always describe it is that I wasn't a conscious pioneer at all. Like, it was, it was very much like a, oh, I just, I'm making these fun films just for fun. I had no clue there was a business component to it or that it could lead to anything. And they're hilarious, by the way. I spent all day oh, at you. work when I was supposed to be working. I got paid. <laughs> um, I was watching your videos and I was cracking up. They well, are hilarious. Well, you were doing research, yes. right, for your job. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah, it was, it was funny because I had no clue that you could you know, do anything with it. But yeah, I just kind of put them online because there's this website and that way I can send the link to my to my friends. Where do you film all of these? You, is it here in the US or do you come across from the pond? <laughs> well, I started out doing everything in, in London. Um, so that was sort of, and you know, I used what I had around me. You know, I used the living, like a lot of sketches took place in the living room because I have a living room, you know. Right. Like I couldn't, I couldn't necessarily get access to anything bigger than that at the mm -hmm. time. Um, but as I started getting access to budgets, you know, then you can start shooting outside and getting uh, more ambitious with your locations and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've since moving to the US, I've made uh, two sketches and I'm currently in production on three different short films. So okay. it's picking up now, I guess. Like now I've started my, my sort of US. Are you in L you're in LA now, right? Yeah, right now so I'm in So do LA. you get to work with uh, any big actors or do you come you know, kind of <laughs> Rub shoulders with that? I, um, I haven't, no. I've, I've, I've actually, like, my claim to fame right now is that Ron Howard follows me on Twitter. That's like my big. Um, and you're on the podcast, which <laughs> yes. the whole starstruck thing, you're doing really well right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny because, you know, like, we all, I think it's good to retain a certain sense of excitement still, you know? Right. Like, it, it's, it's like you're around these people who you admire, you might as well kind of. Uh, get excited when when someone you admire says, "Oh, we're checking out your short film or something." So like that's, uh, but yeah, not not so much with actors yet. No. <laughs> well, you guys are hilarious. You don't even need any. I think it's so funny. Tell us about some of your um, series that you're working on. Yeah. Uh, so the, the ones coming up, or is mm -hmm. it? All right. Yeah. Um, so we're doing a. Uh, I did a short film uh, that we shot in November that we're currently editing, um, and it'll be coming out somewhere in May. And then uh, it's it's funny we're doing something a little different with that one. We're going to try and do a sort of festival route, and then oh, that's fun. Bring Festivals it to are huge right now in the culture. Yeah, um, especially downtown Las Vegas. We have Life Is Beautiful, so it's a big part of our culture here too. So totally. making fun of those people would be <laughs> really nice. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you'll have to put in a good word for me so that, you know, they'll take us seriously at, the, at those oh, festivals. Well, are you going to come to Life is Beautiful? I mean, that would be fun. I'll help you make fun of people. Yeah, sure. It's my favorite thing to do at that festival. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and, and it was funny. So, so I guess that's a short film uh, that, that'll be coming out. And then right now I can't say anything about it, but we're in pre-production on another short film and uh, it's pretty exciting and it'll be coming out somewhere in April, so. So people can still go on YouTube, as I did today, and watch uh, your other short series and short films, which are hilarious, and they don't take that much time. You could blaze through them pretty fast. <laughs> um, tell us what some of them are called. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, the, I, the Burglar one is hilarious. OK, great. Yeah, so that was a show uh, that I came up with called Bad Burglars. Uh, we started out with just an initial sketch, and the basic premise is that it's a group of burglars, and they're not particularly good at what they do. Um, and but what was fun is, you know, we got to do a second one, and then the third one got picked up by a company called Newform Digital, who are based out in LA. And we got to make it for a bit of a budget. So uh, what's fun is I got to genuinely build that up from like a sketch to a slightly longer sketch to an actual episode. So I was able to kind of turn it into a web series. Um, yeah, like that. That's what I'm really proud of. I've written a pilot for. 
uh, a like proper show based on those characters. Hasn't gotten picked up yet, but you know, fingers crossed. I'm sure it will after they <laughs> see you on this show. <laughs> well, aside from producing short films, what do you like to do for fun? What is, you know, what's a fun pastime for you? What's a fun pastime for me? Um, well, yeah. So other than because I do, I do like my my passion genuinely is also what I what I do is uh, what I do for fun. So like I you know go to the movies a lot. Um, but other than that, you know, like now that I'm now that I'm in LA, I try to make sure I like go on hikes and go to the beach and all things that like British very very skinny British people don't usually do. Oh. Um, I don't. Yeah, but but like I try to make sure I'm you know taking advantage of being out here and you know seeing what I can see. Like especially you know. Those are nice I, pastimes. Yeah. Mine is day drinking. <laughs> That's a good one too. We do a lot of that in the UK. You'd get on with us. Which, speaking of, do you want to have a go at the drinko? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, Lenny. Six. Six. Okay, right that's on. you. Once I get mine, then we'll cheers and drink. I think right. that's the warm wine. You lucked out. <laughs> One. Oh, oh no. this is going to get healthy. Should we do it? Let's do one more each in case so we can mix. Okay. That's the, okay. Three, two, three, go, go, oh. go. That's not bad. That's really good. Juice standard. That was great. <laughs> well, tell everybody where they can find you online if they want to start watching your films and then catch the new ones that you're working on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so on YouTube, I'm youtube.com forward slash Tim H. Uh, or on Twitter, you can find me at this Tim. So this not that Tim, this Tim. Okay, well, try not to get you confused with that, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again. Thanks for staying late and hanging out with us. Yeah, no and, problem. Uh, thank you for having hope me. Hope to see you during Life is Beautiful. <laughs> Awkward hug. <laughs>
Because after your principal personally dismantles the bulletin board you put up in the hallway depicting student created, created scenarios of their rights and responsibilities, you've managed to ruffle enough feathers to be put under investigation by the school. So now you got to get yourself legally represented because these fools is looking for loopholes in your contract to let you go midway through the year. And during the investigatory meeting, you must bite your tongue because anything you say can and will be used against you. And you must cover your nose because you can smell the crap seeping through their skin as they try to tell you that you're in trouble for having students draw pictures of cops with guns. Like, what were you thinking having students draw pictures of cops with guns? As if my students don't think that cops carry guns, let's ignore the very fact that our very own campus police officer carries one by his waist every single day. Let's ignore the fact that police continue to brutalize, terrorize, and separate communities of color every single day. And then they proceed to bring out the posters of Brother Malcolm X and stopping deportations you happen to put up alongside your student work. And they reveal what they're really upset about. They then accuse you of trying to start a revolution. And in my mind, I think to myself, you right, I'm trying to start a revolution, a revolution of the mind. But because I talk, look, act, and think differently than you, that idea scares you. It scares you to know that I'm creating a space in which my students are dismantling racism, classism, sexism, homophobia, hate, injustice, violence, and war. It scares you to know that my students are realizing their potential to positively impact this world. It scares you to know that my students are roses that grow from the concrete. And it scares you to know that I'm just getting started, that we're just getting started. Because to you, education is just a job. But to my students and I, education is survival. I am a threat, a Latino educado. And I am here to educate the people. That is where the change for revolution begins. Class dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Nico. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew, to our live studio audience, and all you podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night at 9 p.m. right here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us on the rooftop for the after party. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Downtown Podcast. Follow me at Snapchat at Downtown Lenny. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Peace, love, and be kind to one another.